at this. I don't know if it is going to Okay, I don't know if, um, hi Tia, hi sweetie. I don't know if my other live is still going. Hi Jess, okay, hi Kathleen, I'm glad you got it at least. Okay, good, I'm glad you guys are getting it. Hi Michelle, I didn't know if it was still showing. Um, hi Andrea, hi Johnny. Johnny, I'm not going to be able to do that today, hon. And uh, unfortunately, Johnny, they're, I can't do that anymore because they're going to give me copyright strikes for doing that. Um, but I just wanted to make sure that other video, is it still live? Hi, Christy. Hi, Heather. Hi, Maggie. Hi, Roxanne. Um, so... Oh, good, Jeannie. I'm so glad. I wasn't sure if it's still showing me as live or I couldn't even get the darn stream to, but. So I guess what I'll tell you is it, it is still live, Tia. Oh my gosh. I'm not even sure. I couldn't even figure out how to end it. All of a sudden, my screen went blank and I don't even know why it did it, but oh my gosh, devil's a liar. I'm telling you, it's just like trying to get things going. But so basically, um, I'll, I'll just give you guys basically the brief again, the brief rundown again, because, um, um, Thank you, Tia. I appreciate that. So, I don't know. Gosh, I'm so exhausted already from telling the story so many times. But, so, my husband was on a ladder cutting down a dead tree. Um, he fell off the ladder. I was in the beauty room. It's right outside my beauty room. Um... I don't know how it happened, if he lost his footing or if the ladder shifted in the rocks. I don't know what happened, but with a telephone pole on the ground, his left ankle hit the telephone pole. He It bore all of his weight, and he was at the very top of the ladder. Um, thank you so much, Tia. I haven't, not yet. Today is the first day, you guys. Let me finish telling you what happened, and then I'll tell you all the rest of the stuff so far. So his tibia and fibula are shattered on the bottom. So I guess that's part of his leg as well. Um, Kathleen could maybe help. I know I need to take a deep breath. I'm just so, I mean, just literally running on on overload. Um, so I guess his leg is broken, considered its leg is broken as well as his ankle. Um, they were going to put plates and screws in and when they went in, it was so shattered in so many pieces, they had nothing to put a plate to. It, so they had to do the, a halo, what's called a halo. And it surrounds his leg. I, I had it up on my phone, but I it's it is up in a video. Um, I'm pretty sure it is. I, my brain is so scrambled. That's what a halo looks like, you guys. Right there. So it has rods that go into his leg. The first prognosis was um, four to six weeks, and now. It could be as much as eight months recovery time. Thank you, and Andrea. Thank you. Yeah. On each side of the fibula is the bone going down to the front. Okay. Yeah, it's the fibula and the tibia. 
I think that's what it is. Kathleen was telling me. Yeah, vitamin C and D. I know they ha we have them on um, protein. Yeah, I already have him on magnesium, vitamin C, and D. I'll I'll put him on calcium, but I'll get manganese as well. But um, it's um, it's yes, Kathleen's writing it. Both the skin, both of the bones went through the skin and were sticking out of the skin. Uh, thank you, Evelyn. Um, thank you, Mary. Hi, sweetie. It's, yeah, it's been crazy. It's been a crazy year. I can't even begin to tell you. Um, when I looked at it, I, his, his, like, it was like this, like it was even it was even more like I can't, I can't even explain to you. I've I've seen things like that on TV that are make believe. The last time I saw something that bad was like Joe Heisman when he he snapped his leg in the football game. That's the only time I've ever seen something like that in person. Thank you guys for coming back. And um, I had to walk away for a minute. I literally came in the house. I was in so much shock that I was walking in circles and then I didn't realize I'm like, okay, I'm walking in a circle. Like that's going to do nothing. And I was just like, I literally was praying about what we've been dealing with at the moment it happened. And I literally came in the house. Savannah said, I screamed. I don't even remember it. I, I, I don't, I don't remember it. I honestly don't. I, I just screamed out to God and I was like, I, I, I don't even remember what I said. Savannah could tell you, but I don't remember what I said. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. Um, It's a lot. It's a lot to deal with. Um, I literally from that day, I, I have not stopped it. I, I don't know how I'm doing what I'm doing. It's only by the grace of God that I've been able to do what I'm doing. Um, Cause it's a whole new ball game from here because of that grace we've had to move like everything. Like I had cabinets in our bathroom that because our bathrooms are very small. We live in a, a, a triple wide mobile home. So the bathrooms are inky, dinky, stinky, small, like tiny. So I had freestanding Ikea cabinets that kept our towels and stuff like I've had to shift everything to one side so that he has a clear path in. I, I've had to um, move a dresser out of our our room that is in the, like when you walk in our room, a dresser was right in the walkway. And I, we've had to pull that out. It's now in my dining room. I've had, I like, I'm, I'm having to tape down rugs. I'm having to, like, we had to like literally take out a full, our full sectional came out. We had to put in a straight couch here where I'm sitting so that he has floor space. I'm, I mean, it's just been overwhelming. I've had to, and with me being as sick as I've been, and I, I'll be the first to tell you, like my, my husband working, my house was filthy, like filthy, unclean. And I'm sorry. My kids are amazing, but um, the house was a mess, like dirty a mess. And, oh, my gosh. Yeah, they say because of the halo, it's better. Than, it's actually better than the plates, but the recovery is much longer because he won't have to deal with having screws and plates in his leg. But, um, so I have to lean back. Cause, so 
So I've had to clean and just like, I, I, I'm not kidding. It's just been insanity. I, I honestly, I can hardly even remember everything. I have to actually build myself a railing for our stairs now so that when he comes home, he can come up the stairs. I mean, it's been like that. It like every little detail is, is it's a whole different when you have to have a wheelchair crutches and a walker in your house with somebody with a halo. Um, well, Tanya, I mean, dirty as in far as, you know, like my, my kids clean, but they don't clean like me. So like they'll dust the shelves, but they won't do anything like as far as like they vacuum, but they don't do baseboards. They do, they'll mop, but they'll won't do under the cabinets. Like there's just so much stuff, but we had like, this is such a tall, small house, you know, we had stuff packed in here. Well, now it's completely opened up. It's, we've made it so he has clear pathways everywhere. Like entry tables had to be moved and taken out. Like so much stuff. Like you just don't realize how much you have to do. Do I have more family that can help me? Um, no. Well, no. Um, Tim has family, but they live out in Encino. Um, my mom has Alzheimer's, so I'm usually the one helping her. I have a brother who lives in Lake Elsinore, and a, or not Lake Elsinore, but Lake Forest, and a sister who lives, but they, they're not that way. I told my brother and he was like, oh, we'll pray for you. Like, he hasn't even called to see. And on, honestly, I just, I, I can't go there because you know, it is what it is. They haven't been in my life for years. And the only reason why they've been in it lately is because they needed me to help stuff with my mom and they needed me to be there at the hospital. And they needed me to do this and do that. That's honestly the only reason why they ever talk to us unless they need something that we don't hear from them. And it just, I, I, I don't even know. You know, I think I've maybe cried like three times when I, I don't, I don't think it's even set in yet because I've been going so much that I haven't even let it hit me yet. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I, Kathleen, I, I have essential oils that an antibiotic blend that works absolute miracles on stuff. So, I mean, he's had major cuts and um, you guys saw how well his hand healed. We, we just douse it with the antibacterial essential oils and their, their healing properties are like beyond words. And it's the only thing that can cross the blood brain barrier as well and go into your body and not only correct the things that it's working on that you're using it for, but it goes into your body and does everything else the oils do as well. So I will be, thank you, Christy. Um, but I will be using that and I will check into, I've never even heard of that. Hybacleans, is that what it is? Hybacleans? I'll look that up, but right now, you know, um, I'm going to have to just watch everything that I do. I, I don't, honestly, you guys, I don't even know what's going to happen with my channel because um, my husband's not going to be working and he's our income. So um, 
I just, I don't know. I just don't know. And honestly, the last thing that I'm thinking about is stopping and putting on makeup and like doing an eye look. I, I'm, I'm so overwhelmed that I go, go, go until my body literally shuts down. And then I lay in bed and like I'm running on adrenaline. Like, you know, I'm so, I'm so much adrenaline pumping through me. I think that I, then I can't sleep. I haven't done anything, Tanya. I have to, um, Um, I have to call the landlord and tell them what's happening. I'm absolutely dreading that because the woman who is the daughter of the owner is like, uh, I have, there's choice words for her. Hi, Kim. But um, I, I'm not looking forward to dealing with them, but I, I don't want to lose it and say or do something I'm going to regret. So I just put it off today. I am going to call them tomorrow. Thank you, Jess. Yes, they are. Because here's the thing. I spoke. This is so God because the property manager was here like four months ago. And I personally took her out to that tree. And I said, this tree needs to be dealt with. It's it's starting to get loose and the winds blow against the tree this way. And it would have flew. It would have fell into Savannah's bedroom if it got knocked over and she's all, they're not going to, I don't think they're going to do anything about that tree. And I was like, Oh really? I go, it's good. The, what infected this tree can go, it can go from tree to tree and kill every tree on this property. But I'm not kidding. These people are worth like $500 million and they're slumlords. I'm, I'm not kidding. They're slumlords. They, they don't care. They own mansions that people rent and pay high dollar for. And don't, they don't do anything there either. Because my husband's worked for them. So, yeah, they're going to have to deal with it now. So I'm going to contact them tell them my husband fell cutting down the dead tree that, that you guys refuse to do anything about it I need the insurance information and um, I know Tanya look I am it's so hard because I with with lupus and everything that I have already just like thinking about and this may sound stupid but Thinking about having to get up and make dinners is like overwhelming to me. It's, it's overwhelming. And so I, I have to do like one step at a time, like one thing at a time, because otherwise uh, I'll just lose it because it's, it's all so much, you know, it's just, it's just too much at one time. Oh, Tanya, you're so sweet. I, I don't want you to, you guys are already struggling, honey. I mean, I know that, I know God's going to take care of us. I know he will, but it's just the, the things that I dread the most are the things that are the toughest, like dealing with the landlord and the, and disability. I just went through the filing and all of that for me. Um, I know it's going to be different for him because the doctor can, the doctor can do something that my doctors won't do, which is beyond words to me. But um, I, I just, you know, I'm just going one day at a time. So I, I will probably have Dylan or Savannah go on and actually do that because you can file online, but. I think there's a way that the doctor can help us with that. Tim is going to talk to him about that. So, yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Tanya. 
Oh, no, I haven't even, I haven't done any of that. I am going to be selling whatever I have to sell to, to make ends meet. Um, they'll give you a paper to fill out. Okay. <laughs> a Kathleen. <laughs> Okay, there's a social worker at the hospital. Okay, good. Hi, Happy Lux. So, um, yeah, I, I'm just right now. To me, the most the most pressing thing is is dealing with the landlord, because I have to I have to find out what how they're going to be. Are they going to be total? rear ends about this or are they going to do the right thing and be like don't worry about the rent don't do this don't do that right now you know what i mean like i to me considering that they had a deal with us that they reneged on and that's a whole nother story um and we had to put all this money into this house to make it livable and then they they went back on their deal I think since they're worth so much money that they're going to, if they're smart, they're going to be, they're going to, they're going to try, they're going to just not, they're going to try to appease us however they can because they don't want us to sue them. So, um, oh, if I, I do have, Tim's cousin called me and, I was speaking with her yesterday and she's really, um, really super duper smart and really knowledgeable with all of this stuff. Oh, Michelle, thank you, honey. Thank you, honey. But, um, she's already checking into some of the stuff. Like she's already sent me all emailed me every single thing that, because they have a property manager involved, what they're responsible by the law in California, what they're supposed to do. Um, oh my gosh, we're getting a life raid. Hi, Ash. Hi, honey pie. Hi, Spain G's. Hi, sweetie. So I have the whole, she emailed me everything of what they're by the law supposed to do. And they're already they're already in big trouble because of what they haven't done. And um oh James, hi sweetie. Thank you for coming by, you guys. Thank you for the raid. I wish I could be more excited about getting the laugh raid, but it's just it's a tough day. But um so that's a big help. So, but she, she also has fibromyalgia as well and chronic fatigue. So hi, Haley. She's already, um, thank you, James. Thank you. Um, he's still in the hospital, Shanna. No, he's actually been doing worse. I will, Ashley. Um, Another thing that's happening with him is, and Kathleen, maybe you could tell me if this is normal. The first few days, he didn't have a lot of swelling. I was absolutely amazed. Now he's dealing with like extreme nauseous, nauseousness um, and his foot is swelling up terrible, terrible now. Um, so... I don't know if it's normal. I always thought that the swelling would come immediately, but um, they were. He was going to be home today, and he was so bad this morning that they were like, "No, we're not. We're not releasing you." So um, I, I don't. I don't know if he's got maybe some kind of a pinched nerve because he hit his ankle and then went back to his butt landed on his butt on the pole so I don't know if it is 
maybe pinched a nerve that could cause that. Um, really, it can, Heather. Okay. Okay, good. I'm, I didn't know that, Tanya. I didn't know. Thank you, Shanna. Yeah, I figured it could be the pain med because he doesn't, hasn't taken anything like that in a really long, I mean, like years and years. So, I mean, he has a little bit here and there, but not really a lot. But, um, okay. Yeah, he has, they have him doing physical therapy too. So he is actually getting up. My husband is very, thank you, Claudia. Thank you. If he gets a fever, that's when to be okay. Yeah, they're really, they're really taking really good care of him. He's at Loma Linda Hospital in Murrieta. Um, he said today was the first day that he had a nurse that was terrible. And her name was Emily. Every other nurse was amazing. They were so great. The people were so amazing. His doctor is awesome. Okay. But um, today he said he got his first really bad nurse. was terrible. Like she's not checking in. Like just really whatever. But um. So thank you so much, sweetie, for praying and listening. I appreciate it so much. Hon. Thank you, Jess. But um, yeah, I yeah, I I'm I'm hoping that nothing else by landing. He hit his leg first, the ankle, and then I'm sure he had his hands down too. So I'm hoping that took some off of, you know, compacting his, his, um, spine and stuff. So, but, but, you know, I just appreciate your guys' prayers more than you guys know. I mean, he didn't, yeah. Yeah, I told him because he was doing that at first, Christy. He was like, thank you, Kathy. Hi, sweetheart. He was like, oh, he he wasn't trying to be like Mr. Tough Guy. He wanted to just see like how bad it was. Like, so he lets it go as far as he can to because the first few days they had him so doped up that he was just throwing up all the time. It, it was literally making him throw up. They put him on such heavy medication and he had to tell him, stop, stop giving me that much because, um, I forget one of the drugs they gave him. It's the fentanyl, the one that all the kids are ODing on. And I was like, don't you give him fentanyl. I'm like, you give him something else. And so he was, he just kept throwing up and throwing up. And when I was like, what are you giving him? And I saw it was fentanyl. I was like, no, 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 no fentanyl. Just so, um, I think they're just giving him like, um, Percocet right now. And yeah, I know, Spain, geez, I'm telling you. I was like, no, no, no. When I saw that, I was so mad. I'm like, no, 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 no. Do not. I mean, I'd rather have him be on morphine than fentanyl. But it, he, my husband is really, um, he's really strong. He's very, um, it takes a lot to put my husband down. I mean, I'm serious, a lot. So I, I just, I, I believe, I, I think he's going to heal faster than they're saying. And I know, I know the Lord is going to take care of us. I, I, I don't know how he's going to do it, but I know he's going to do it. I just, I just, I just have to trust him. I, I can't, I can't, I just, I'm not allowing myself to go there. You know, when I'm upset, I'll cry. And I'll, I'll let it out, but 
that's just because you got to let the emotions of it go. And then I just, if I have to speak the word, then, you know, really, they won't even give it a hospital stare. Yeah, I don't want him. I don't even want him on something like that. But so, you know, um, I just, I know I didn't give any kind of solid, you know, explanation of what had happened to him. Just, it's been so crazy. This is the first day that my, today, my body was just like, you are not doing what you've been doing. I've been able to be up doing some things today, but for the most part, my body was gave out today so um hi Jeanette how are you sweetheart so um I just wanted while I had some a moment with the kids gone at the hospital I wanted to come let you guys know so that you guys would understand what's going on and um yeah he's literally iced 24 7 almost right now so savannah and dylan are um i honestly still think we were we're all still a little in shock you know i am um it, it's so hard to i know christy but you guys are part of my life. You know, that's how I see this. You guys are like part of my life. And I wanted to, it, I get so many people with random questions and I just can't stop right now to take time to answer. Uh, all I'm doing is harding comments and that's the most I can do right now. I, I'm literally, I've got so much to do that I, I just don't have time to answer everyone's questions. So this was the fastest way to, yeah, I, I, and you guys have no idea for Savannah to come on and cry in front of people. Like that was just so unusual for her, you know, um, she doesn't usually let see people see her vulnerable. Savannah definitely puts up a wall in that area. And um, I was really proud of her for, for sharing that and being vulnerable and sharing. Because I, I couldn't have done it. I couldn't have done it at the time. I, I just literally, my brain went into, oh my gosh, like, this has got to be done. This got to be done. This, all this mode of all these things, you know what I mean? Like you just kick into overload. I've been like the energizer bunny for four and a half days and I don't even know how, but, um, yes, I will, honey. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Nessa. Tell her, give her a big hug. It's just, I know it's, um, uh, like I said, right now it's so crazy. Like we had to, today we had to work on our front porch because I have plants everywhere all over. We had to move every plant out near any stairway and we have to figure out now, I have to figure out how to build a stair rail so that he has something to hold on to coming up the stairs because he's too much for me. I know with Dylan, he can do it, but with me, yeah, that's exactly right, Heather. It, it is. It's right. And that's what I feel like I'm doing today. Like I'm, I'm starting to crash. Like even now, I'm now that I've sat down to do this live, I, I feel like the tiredness coming over me. You know, it's just a lot. Um, I, I can't build a ramp right now. That would be too much for me. I thought about that, but I could, I could build a rail. I could handle that, but I don't know if I could build, handle building a ramp. And right now to go out and buy one, I just, um, I, 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 I don't, I just don't think I, I can do it right now. But, um, yeah, a piece of plywood is not thick enough for that. Um, 
Uh, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with that yet, uh, but I, I do think he's going to be in the hospital a couple more days. So I, um, okay, Christy, I will, I'll ask them about that. Um, that would be really good. Maybe they have something that I was hoping that maybe I would find like some kind of thing that I could just screw down into our stairs and that would be enough. Like maybe they have them pre-made that um, we can just literally bolt to it. But um, yeah, they will, they will do that, Kathleen. They're already working with him little by little. And his doctor, um, he's really amazing. Like God bless us with an amazing doctor. He's so compassionate. He knows I, he, he knows I have lupus and fibromyalgia. He, he sat and talked to us. And I, I said, I said to him in the hospital, he goes, when he said eight months, I started bawling. I was bawling. I mean, bawling. And and he's all, I know that's a lot to take in. And I said, you have no idea. You have no idea. And he, he just goes, well, help me with the idea. And I, I told him, I said, I have lupus and fibromyalgia and I'm bedridden most days of the week. And, and he was really amazing. He's like, he's telling my husband every day, like, I'm not going to rush this. I'm not going to rush you out of here and, and put you in your wife's hands. Like he's, he's like, that's really rare in a doctor. So, uh, you know, I know that God's taking care of us. And it, it's, it will all come together. You know, I, I don't know how, but it will. Yeah, it it was a lot, Kathleen. I I, I it still is. Like I, I I I honestly I don't. It's like I I think I'm forgetting to breathe a lot. Like you know what I mean. Like you just go. I believe if you call two one one, they have a person. Really. What is that? I don't even know about that. Yeah, I, I'm i telling you guys, with a running chainsaw in his hand and a telephone pole that he could have broke his neck or anything, it, it could have been so much worse. And I'm I'm praising God for that. I'm, I'm so grateful that my husband's still here today because it could have been worse. But um, it's still a lot you know, but God is taking care of us. He is. And it's a number you call for any needs. Okay. Wow. I didn't even know about that. But I don't want to even keep talking about it. I, I'm, I'm getting, starting to get really tired, but I do want to go ahead and show you guys these so that I don't have to do a video about it. <laughs> and then I can kind of end this live with something fun. I don't know if these will be my last ones, but we'll see. I just don't know at this point what I think they will be for a while, but we'll see. But so this one is my regular account. And I know <sighs> I'm breathing. And then this is my secondary account. I got the Kula for as an add-on for my kids because it's organic, and that's the only sunscreen I'll allow them to use is organic sunscreen. And then I did get the roller lash because I've wanted to try this as an add-on. I didn't really personally think they had a lot of amazing, amazing add-ons. 
So I didn't really get a lot of add-ons this month, but have you, did any of you guys get this, but sitting in Etsy for about two weeks. Oh, really? Yeah. You know, they're, if they're shipping this month was terrible. Like my, one of my main account, the glam bag must just got shipped yesterday. So I don't know what's going on with them this month, but they were really, really bad. But it's so cute. There's an actual little egg here, you guys. Look at that. It is the cutest little packaging. I think it's, I'm happy I got it just because the packaging is so darn cute. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's just ridiculous to get that many masks. I had to tell them, I had to write them and tell them to stop. It is a mask. It is a um, egg, a moisturizing egg mask. So there's a little spoon that comes with it. It's really adorable. I don't, I've never seen it before, but you use the spoon and scoop it out. But I think it's adorable packaging. And I got the Trust Fund Beauty Nail Polish, which... I love, but I don't know if I'm even going to keep up my nails right now. But the color, it's not, it's really, it's not showing anywhere near. It's really like a warm lilac, pinky lilac. It's very pretty color. And I really love the color. I'm really happy about that. I got the phase zero. I think this is a blush. And oh my gosh. This is like the most beautiful blush color I think I've ever seen, ever. I'm so happy that I got this because the color is so me. But it's absolutely like my kind of color for blush. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. So I'm, I really really think I got an amazing, amazing bag this month. I got the Glam Glow. Um, this is the Glow Starter. It's an illuminating moisturizer, which I really was wanting this. And then I got an absolutely gorgeous Smashbox, lip, Smashbox Lippy in an absolutely stunning mauve color. So, I mean, it. this was like my favorite glam bag in a, in a while. This one was really, really beautiful. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Sweetness313. Hi, Blondie's Adventures. Welcome, hon. Yeah, it was hard to open, Andrea. Okay, so in this one, the add-on I got was the Laritzi, which, oh my gosh, this stuff is, you guys know I love anything gel or like cream shadows. This is spectacularly beautiful, beautiful color. I'm so glad I got it for three bucks. Like to me, can't beat it. The color is called Utopia. Oh, you got it in your bag. Oh my gosh, that's nice. And I, did I get any add-ons? Let me see. I'm trying to think. That was in my bag. Oh, yes. I got another one of the Kula because this stuff is very expensive. And I figured, what the heck? I was kind of regretting it after because it's pretty small. But um, my kids burn so easily. So, and if I go out in the sun, even in the slightest, I have to be slicked like like an oil well. So, um, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah. Those are my only add-ons. So I got this, um, mask set. Um, I'm not even sure what these are. I don't know if these are one says sleeping mask and then one says pore tightening. Yeah, they were burnt that day. I was bad today. I got my disability about one expensive pound. I will cry later. I got the neon peak from Huda. Well, what's wrong with that? I think that's a beautiful palette. Did you not like it? 
yeah, I think that palette's gorgeous. But I'm excited to try this. I don't know what, if it's like a put on, but I'm glad to get this. I got the brow brush, which I'm very glad I got this too, because I needed a really good angled brow brush. And I always love having extra spoolies. So I love that. I got another Smashbox lippy. And this color is, um, oh, it's another mauve. I thought it was different. So I got two of the mauve ones. I got the Brighton Concentrate Oil, which I love face oils. I have extremely dry skin. So these work amazing on me. And I think that's a really super generous size for them. So I'm so excited to try that. One, two, three, four. And then my last thing. And... I actually like this. I love their packaging. It's so adorable, but I'm not just not a fan of the color. It's a actually I probably really will end up loving this as like an inner eye. It's like a pale lilac key, but now that I'm seeing it in this light, it's got a really pretty gold shift. So I'll bet you that will be really pretty inner eye. But um I think both of these are spectacular this month like I honestly don't have anything bad to say I, I I don't think this is hideous it's not like my favorite looking bag but I don't really I only keep a few of them that I use so most of these will just go with my ipsy you know my ipsy bags that I sell but um so I just wanted to be able to show you guys that I don't uh, I honestly I do have videos saved, so um, I think I have like maybe nine videos done right now that are saved in queue, so that's what I'll be putting up, and, um, and th the next video that I actually do will be all the sale prices of the palettes, and um, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do it so that it's not like, because I know other people, it's going to end up being like a first, first come first serve basis, but I, I just don't know how I'm going to do it because I, I just can't make it to where it's so much on me that, you know what I mean? That I can't handle it all because it's going to be when Tim's here and I, I just, Right now, I'm just going one day at a time, you guys. I'm trying to do the best I can. I will um, probably still maybe upload another one of the, I don't know. I might wait till tomorrow. I'm not sure, but um, maybe upload one of the decluttering palettes so people can be thinking about like, oh my gosh, what do I want? But just so the best way that you guys can help me right now is like play my videos and let them run. Even if you're not watching, I don't even care at this point so that I make some kind of income on YouTube. That would be like the hugest blessing. And, um, and just keep praying for us. I'm, uh, I, I'm just going one minute at a time, but. Thank you guys for coming today. And I, 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 how do you do them in small lots rather than individually? Um, I don't know because I don't want people to have to buy what, I, first of all, I have to get as much as I can out of them because right now we have no income coming in. So some of the palettes I've bought, I've never even used because I'm sick. So I, 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 I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to figure it out. I, I'm, I'm just going to just try to do the best I can, you know. And um, that's, yeah, all I can do is just go little by little, day by day, and do the best that I can. I, I can't think about it too much or else I'll get overwhelmed and then it just causes me to stress out because, like, I... Like my, my plate's like overflowing right now. So 
But um, thank you, Maggie. You're so cute. What is my eBay under? I'm not going to put them on eBay, hon. I'm going to just um, list them. Like what I'll do is I will, I'm going to do it. I, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do it, but I will show the palette with the price or um i'm not exactly sure how i'm going to do it but i'll put it in videos and um i it will probably end up being one long 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 video instead of breaking it up into several because if i break it up into several it's going to be too hard to figure out which one was in which video and all of that stuff so It'll just be one long video that if people want to buy, they're going to they're gonna have to watch it and see what they want. And then I just want everybody to make lists of what they want and then email me or put it in the comments. And I, I'm not exactly sure, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, you know. Nope, I'm going to be, look, at this point, I'm going to be selling anything I have to sell to make ends meet because we don't have income coming in. So um, I haven't gone through everything. I do have a lot of palettes that I bought that are brand new that I bought for giveaways and stuff like that, that I'll be selling them when it comes time to do giveaways again. I'll buy more stuff if I'm still doing YouTube at that time. You know, right now I, I just have to go one little inkling at a time honestly I don't even know with him here how it's going to go if I'm going to be able to keep doing YouTube because I don't make enough money on here and if I'm not able to be buying stuff and showing you stuff then uh, I don't know what I'd be doing on here you know I, I just hi Olivia so I like I said I just it's all overwhelming to me to even think about it all in one fell swoop because it's just overwhelming but um i you guys will be the first to know i promise you that i i will you'll see a video and i'll put it up and i'll make it really clear for everybody and thank you olivia but you guys i'm i'm starting to feel pretty bad right now and so i'm gonna go and thank you guys so much for your prayers. I, I love you guys so much. And I will keep you guys updated, okay? I love you guys so much. Bye, you guys.